I'm the type of person who likes to be in control of things. I like to, when I'm doing a, pl a project, to have it planned out. Yes. I like to know the details. I want to know what it looks like before I get started. I'm going to have every cut on my saw lined out to where I know how long each board is going to be. But what I'm not good at is when things don't go the way I want them to go. And Shauna can testify to that. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, hi, I'm Shauna, and this is my husband, Pete, and we are Golly Hugh Family Discipleship. We are both ordained ministers with the Church of God, and what we do is we just ask you to come into our home every day through social media and study the Bible with us. Uh, this is how we disciple our family. One chapter a week and we study it every day and so it's been very productive for our family we've learned a lot we've grown a lot and we hope ho hopefully this will help you learn a lot and grow a lot so today we are actually in Romans chapter 9 just a continuation this week and we're on verses 19 through 21 um, it's a great scripture and it's a good reflection of who we are um, and who God is so let's read those scriptures and we'll get started it says, one of you will say to me, then why does God still blame us for who is able to resist his will? But who are you, a human being, to talk back to God? Shall what is formed say to the one who formed it, why did you make me like this? Does not the potter have the right to make out of the same lump of clay some uh, pottery for special purposes and some for common use? So the, the life of a Christian is essentially letting go and letting God do what he wants to do, right? And you, you don't really have control over what, the way things are going to happen if you truly submit and surrender and you're a servant of Jesus Christ because the servant doesn't have control, the master does. And what this scripture here is saying is, you know, God has the ability to form us into whatever he wants to. And whatever he wants to form us in is truly best for us, Yeah, right? right. And he's got our best intentions in mind. Uh, you may want to be a porcelain dish, but he needs you to be a frying pan. Yep. Uh, you know what I mean? Something that does more work and gets things done and, and, and cooks and feeds. You know what I'm saying? You might want to be a Bissell Crosswave, and he's just asking you to be a broom. You know? Right. <laughs> I don't you want to be fancy. Is, so. yeah. <laughs> All those ladies. I know though. it's a vacuum, I guess. <laughs> but the, the thing about it is, is in our life, the best scenario for us is to let the, 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 was the, the potter form us into the creation he wants us to be. That's right. And that means simply giving him control. That's right. You know, you're letting go of your plans, your uh, ambitions, which turn out to be selfish, and, and your vain desires, um, and allowing God to handle your life and take care of your life, just trusting him, um, allowing him to lead. Um, we can't be, like Pete said, we can't be uh, a porcelain dish trying to act like um, a a a pot or a pot trying to act like a porcelain or dish. A kitty cup. A kitty cup. <laughs> yeah. the, you know, the, Jeremiah's asking a question. He kind of got me off track there. But you know, whenever you, you think about this in your life, one of the things that we do, and we ask our boys all the time, what do you want to be when you grow up? And they'll give us answers. One week it'll be a fireman, one week it'll be a doctor, police officer, or police officer whatever. Bird it is. watcher. Yeah, but but then we always say, well, we want you to be what God wants you to be. We want you to find out what God wants you to be and then pursue that with all your heart. That's right. Right. We don't want to give them preconceived notions of what we think they should be or they think they should be. We want them to desire the perfect the perfect plan for their life, and that's what God wants. That's right. You know, he has the perfect plan, and, and it you know, our plans pale in comparison to what God has because He knows, He knows our abilities. We know what we may like, and we may may um, have an inkling of what we're capable of, but we have no clue of the magnet magnitude that God could uh, plan for our lives and what He could do to uh, to bring about peace and joy and contentment in our life. Or who others' life's going to be touched by us doing what He that's wants right. us to do. We talked about this before. We're dominoes, right? If, if we don't fall where we're supposed to fall, the next domino doesn't get knocked over. But we must have faith that the Creator, the person who formed the heavens and the earth, knows what's best for us. That's right. He knows where He wants us to be. He created us. We were born for such a time as this. In the place you were born, right? We're, we're in Man, West Virginia area for a reason. God placed us here, not by accident yeah. or happenstance. You know, uh, Jeremiah 29, 11 says, what, Shauna? 
for I know the plans that I have for you, plans to prosper you and give you peace. Um, so, and we have to understand and truly trust that God does have plans of hope and peace for us, not plans of destruction. Right. And uh, trust those things uh, and place our lives in His hands. Right, and if He felt that way towards Jeremiah, He feels that way towards us because the Bible yeah. says He's not a respecter of persons. Yeah. So going forward this week, uh, continue to study the Word of God. Uh, I can't stress enough how important it is, especially the day in which we live in, that you read the Bible every day. Yeah. Put the Word of God in your heart. You know, David said, I hide thy word in my heart that I might not sin against thee. We need God's Word in our heart today to lead, guide, direct us, and strengthen us on a daily basis. Absolutely. We want to encourage you to live every day intentionally for Christ. Encounter God. Exalt God. Edify yourself with the reading of the Word and engage this world for Christ. Remember this week, Romans chapter 9. Read it. Study it. And um, know that God loves you and He has created you with purpose on purpose. And that, Until next time, may God bless you. God bless.